All right, match two with uh, Chromanticore Devotion. That's a name I came up with. I don't know if that's the real name. Probably not. What? Do you, how, how would you even know? I'm here with Melissa, by the way. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, we're keeping this hand. Yeah, this hand seems pretty good. That's a turn four Chromanticore, and then a turn five. No, maybe not turn five. But an early bestow. I, I want to live the dream and bestow. Oh, we're keeping that guy. Right? Yeah, for sure. We're, we're going to bestow a Chromanticore on a Chromanticore. Whoa. That's some serious stuff right it's there. It's not a joke. That's real life. I'm not laughing. Uh, if you did, I would laugh at you for laughing. You know you can't Doomblade a Chromanticore? That is correct. I know, or you can't Ultimate Price it either. Why doesn't it say Enchantment on the Manticore? Because it's too small. Oh. Okay. I can make it bigger, maybe. Nope. Those don't get bigger. Oh, we're playing the Dredge deck, apparently. Yep. This deck is getting pretty popular. Uh, apparently. That's what people. That's what the kids are saying. Mm -hmm. Look, he discarded his Sylvan Caryatid. Poor little Sylvan Caryatid. Alright, so what's the play here? Axe Guardian or Chromatic Lantern? Chromatic Lantern. Both things do exactly the same thing. Right, but if is there any is there any benefit to playing this guy instead? Yeah, if well, if you play the Chromatic Lantern, you can actually cast the Chromanticore next turn. That's see, that's what I'm talking about. So they don't do the exact same thing. All right, that's fine. Or I was like, maybe if you're like, well, we might want to block, but there's nothing to block. Yeah, there's nothing to block. Okay, so what does he put in his hand? Night Howler. That's pretty good. Bro, bro, I brop. think we're dead. Oh, another Grizzly Salvage. Yeah, he just fills up his graveyard and makes a gigantic. Lotless troll. You know, this guy is a 6 6. That's pretty good. That's very good. I don't think we can deal that with that. Yeah, do you discard another thing? Yeah, we're at four. This is what dead looks like. Alright, so game two. That was a fun match. Well, we played um, one entire spell. That was fun, though. I had a good time playing it. Um, Golgari charms can kill night howlers, if that's relevant. What? How do they do that? Because of Destroy because, the Enchantment? Yeah. Okay. I mean, is that, is that something we care about? Um, well, I mean, like, it's something. Sometimes they need Night Howler to win. I don't mm -hmm. think Pithing Needles do anything. We don't have a sideboard for this deck, really. I'm going to take out Progenitor Mimic here. I'll put an A Golgari Charm. Charm, a Golgari Charm. Uh, this guy also does the same thing. This guy can also take out Night Howlers. Yep. I think Garrick's a little slow here, too. Oh my god, you and Garrick. I don't I think Garrick is better than the Golgari Charm here, though. This is a very narrow card, and this card just, like... I don't know. I think, I'm, like... I'm very reluctant to cut Garrick's. If you have two Garrick's in your hand, your hand is just super slow. Right, but I think but you could say that about... at least does You something. could also say that about two Chromanticores, two Sylvan Primordials, two Arbor Colossuses. No, like, no, I, I actually disagree with that, because, like, the creatures at least block. They at least do something. The Garrick just, like... He's a six mana thing. But you can use the Garrick but... to put creatures into play. Yes, you can do that. I mean, he has another ability. It's not you're not just like only drawing cards and not. But like at that point, isn't it better to just have a creature? But we're not then... we're not going to be putting a creature. We're putting a Golgari Charm in. Yeah. I mean, if you want to put a Rorik Thar in, maybe, but no, I don't think so. Yeah. I think it's our only form of card advantage, and if we have we have so many of these do nothings, that it's just it's such a relevant card. We have so many, like, dirtily dudes. Like, all of these cards are just basically blanks. Yep. And that's 19. So, like, I, our ability to get to these other green creatures is kind of what the deck hinges on. In my opinion. Okay, sure. So I'm just reluctant to cut Garrick's. See, this is exactly, you know, you're you're dead to me right now. This I mean, only happened because you just you just. If there was a little Larry Charm instead of that Garrick, the hand would still be a mulligan anyway. So. Yeah. Okay. This Garrick is just laughing at me right now, but that's fine. This hand's actually fine. And he went to six too, so. And two drop. Yeah, that's actually fine. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. We'll keep that guy. Yeah, it's totally fine. Just to think, if that guy was in our opening hand, we could have just played Chromatic Lantern, Chromatic Lantern on turn two. Yeah, that's really too bad. I mean, it's still a turn four, Chromanticore, turn five, Garrick, so that's pretty sweet. 
Oh, and a whiff. A whiff and no creatures. Oh, that's a super whiff. That's a that's like double whiff. That's the biggest whiff I've ever. That's seen. like whiff city. Yeah, it is. Look at this. Look at this double, double rampu here. Yep. Yeah, this is actually we're in pretty good shape right now. You got it. You don't even care about that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can bestow a chromanticore on something. Or do we just play Garrick and plus him? I think we just play Garrick and plus him. Yeah, let's one, two, three, four, five. Let's keep this up so we can actually block this guy. We don't want Garrick taking more than he has to. Or we can just negative Garrick and put a Chromanticore into play with him. Uh, that doesn't seem very good. Really? It, it just dies, right? I don't know, it doesn't die. How does it die? It's flying. Um, well, that's not what we wanted to do at all. Alright, so so here's one thing. You paid two life for a reading pool so you could block the 1-1. One, one. Yes. But... If you took the one damage from the one one, you would have taken one and not two. No, it, the the damage the, he's going to attack Garrick with it is my point. So I'd rather have Garrick. We don't. Yeah, it doesn't die though. Right, but I'd still rather have him at two and then one. It's worth. I think the one point of loyalty is worth two life. Okay. Especially when he can like bestow something. If he bestows like a Night Howler on this guy, I'd rather just block. That's not going to do anything right now, but like. Is there something else that you can put on things? Uh, in this deck, no. It's just Night Haller and the Herald. Okay. Alright, so... Just waiting on old Alexander of Macedon. Didn't couldn't even couldn't even fit Macedonia in there. I bet he's typing. And he's like Alexander of Macedonia. Oh, it doesn't fit. All right, I'll be Alexander of Macedon, I guess. How many were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen characters. Jeez. If they had a twenty character limit, he would have actually been perfect. Go ahead, hit that Garrick. You know you want to. You know it's going to feel good. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, and we have a Nykthos. One, two, three, four, five. Arr. We're one mana shy of activating it. Wait, wait. No, we're not. Because we have four devotion right now. What's your plan right now? So we're going to go like this. Um, we're going to activate Nykthos. Let's see if this works. Add four, five. Um, we're going to untap it. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. Ready? I'm ready. It's going to be amazing. And now we're going to kill it. Uh, add Greensels. Greensels? Is that a new color you invented? Yep, and then we kill that Herald. And, and let's try and hit an elf off of this thing. And we did not. What do we need an elf for? Because we have one green mana remaining. Oh, we do. That's sad. Oh, well. We just killed his herald. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, sacrifice another each one loses. Yeah, that's fine. That's not a thing we care about right now. You got it. One dude. That's probably what you're taking too, I bet. No, I don't think so. Like, you think it takes like a land? I mean, like, honestly, like, this deck really needs creatures in the graveyard. I mean, that Night Hell gives like plus one, plus one. It's real bad. But it's, is, is it better than a land? It depends on his hand. And he took the Night Howler. In your face. I know. I know how things work. Look at this. Look at this happy couple in the fields. Oh my god. Happy couple in the fields. Go ahead, attack me. I dare you. I got a 9-9. Nine -nine. Do you know how big a 9-9 nine -nine is? Do you know how big it is when I put this chromanticore on something? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go one. Oh, this thing's gotta do. Um, white. This is just gonna make me sad. He's he, he knows what's happening right now. Uh, blue, red. Oh, do a black there. Red. Oh, I didn't do a black. I guess black, green, and one. Okay. I'm going to tag you for 13 now. 
All right. Therefore, let's let's actually just put a dude in play. We're gonna have to discard whatever we hit with Garrick anyway. So yeah. All right. That was a fun game. Now you know how it feels to not be able to do anything relevant. Why isn't there? Is there? What's the most efficient way to get cards out? I guess rest in peace. Is there like an artifact that gets cards out of graveyards in this format? There has to be. There, there's always an artifact. There's no Tormod's Crypt. There's no Relic of Progenitus. Oh, this hand's real slow. It's good if we can survive. You want to try it? Man, this hand's real slow. It's like, what are you even doing? So on turn four, you're playing a Blupernos. No, we can turn. We can play this guy on turn four. If we Obviously, we'll have a land. If we draw two lands. You want to ship it? I don't know. It's up to you. No. What would you do if I, don't, I wasn't here? If you weren't here... You'd keep it, right? I might. You might. Let's try it. Okay. If we lose, it's we understand it's because of this, this Mulliganos. Oh, that guy's slow. But he didn't have a one drop. Mulliganos world eater? That Polukronos' brother? Yeah. Polukronos' brother Mulliganos. <laughs> Mulligan eater. Alright, he doesn't have a one or two play. I guess he's going to Grizzly Salad here. Probably. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so what did you take? Nemesis? What do you play here? Herald? Sure, that's actually... That's not even that good. No, that's actually fine. Man, where was that last turn? Exactly. Life's hard sometimes. Life is hard. You know what? Magic cards is hard. So you got a Nemesis Immortals. That guy costs one less right now. That isn't even a thing we care about. I feel like his start was equally slow, so we're not really that sure with 3 3 Jared. Hmm. That I can actually kill, kill that guy. Um, we can actually go Axe Bane Guardian and still. Oh, actually, this is what we're going to do. We're going to Axe Bane Guardian and then we're going to Sylvan Carry it here. Okay. And then we're just going to take a bunch, but. Then we have millions of manas. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, six, seven. We have ten mana next turn. Jeez. That's too much. And if we draw a land, we can actually Arbor Colossus and kill his Herald. So your Nemesis still costs two. All right. Commune, you hit two creatures. And what do you put in your hand? Night Howler. So one, two, three. You still can't cast Nemesis, as far as I know. And you can't cast... Night Howler with this mana. So I'll take seven. And that's pretty good. We need to be real careful because pretty soon um, Jared can kill us with his activated ability. So, like, I suggest getting the Sylvan out there and destroying the swamp. Or we can play Pelucranos. Oh, let's, well, obviously Overgrown instead yeah, of Swamp, over, right? Well, yeah, I meant some type of swamp. Hmm. So seven. And we can even keep mana up for uh, Golgari Charm. Oh, um, hmm, 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 hmm. I would definitely keep mana up for Golgari Charm. How about Pelucranos? One, two, three, four. We have nine, so we can actually deal four to Jared right now, actually. Unless he has Grizz Grizzly Salvage, then we cannot. That's true. Um. All right, let's play, play Primordial then. We have four lands, five, six, seven. So we can actually add green, green, green. Does the land come into play tapped? It does. Dang. Why does it do that? Well, we can still play, we can actually still play Pelucranos too, which is pretty sweet. And he does have a Grizzly Salvage. Um, we got a Breeding Pool then. Uh, let's go to combat. See if you got that Grizzly Salvage. He did not. Son of a biscuit. I would just keep Golgari Charm up, honestly, because he's probably going to bestow Night Howler onto the Herald. And I think we really want to kill that guy. He doesn't have the, He doesn't have a black right now. Yeah, but he'll have black. Mm -hmm. He'll have it. Just All wait. right. I'll just trust wait. you. I don't think that even does anything, though. Let's see how big, how big would a... He did. He had black. Um, one... Two. He'd be a 5-5. Five, five. I have a 6-8. Okay. Why did we do that? That seems worse, right? I still think it's good. I'd rather have Pelucardos up, and then we can just actually shoot all his team next turn. Yep, that seems... Oh, let's regenerate our guy. 
We, should we do that? Can we do that? Destroy target non-demon creature. We can actually do that. Why? No, I said we can actually Oh, I just said that. we can't, and I'm like, why not? I might actually just block the, uh, the, the, the Jared with this guy. You can't actually... Oh, you can. can block you, a Jared? Yeah, you can. Okay. If you want to lose all your mana. I'll lose two mana. And I just gained a land, so I'll have one less mana than I did last turn. Yeah. No, two less mana because this guy himself is going. Yeah, that guy is very relevant. He is going to tap, though. But I don't really want to go to three, so... Oh, he's not even attacking with, with Well, him. that's real weird. I did hmm. not even think that would happen. Interesting. Um, so we play Pelucranos. We don't even have the block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, so we'll have 8 mana. So we can use 7 of it. Actually, we can have we can play one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We'll have 9. We can deal 5 to him and 1 to the face. And then he'll have to sack a guy because of this. So probably this guy. I think we just get rid of Jared here. I'm fine with that. Because otherwise, during his upkeep, he sacrifices the demon and we take five. Yep. Uh, green, green. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I don't think we need to take damage there. I think I, I, uh, I, I counted for... Maybe we did. We're at two, two, three. Oh, we did. Yeah. Okay, good. I feel like this match is going to be close. We're not attacking here, obviously. No, we can't. I mean, he can, he can bring him back, but it's going to cost him. We have a lot of mana. He has to stack a dude. I think we're in really good shape, actually. Well, he just sacks the Overlord, the, the demon, I assume. Yeah. And either way, whatever he sacks, we can just Arbor Colossus the other thing. Unless he has a second demon, which is good for him. If he has a second demon, then we're just dead. Yes. Let's see if he has it. No. Okay, good. He does good. not have it. Nice. All right, well, let's see what he wants to do. He can't actually play Jared and... Oh, he, if he actually, if he sacks a Swamp, like, that's much better for us because then that Jared... That's actually fine. I got a 6-8. I'll just block. Mm -hmm. And now we can Arbor Colossus that thing out of the sky. I think we just attack with... Or let's kill this thing and then we'll attack with both, right? Um, as long as we are, we have a blocker for the, for the Night Howler. Yeah, we'll have Arbor Colossus, I guess. Yeah. One, two, three, four, uh, five. And then, oh, and we'll also have someone carry too. Okay. No, uh, you. Yep. And it's a five, five. So. Uh, he actually. Oh, we're one short of him having to block. Yep. Man, that's unfortunate. I was going to say if he has Herald of Torment, we're dead, but we can just block with Arbor Colossus. Yes. So. And he can't play Herald of Torment and... Yep. All right. So he's basically just dead. Yes. All right. Cool. Wow. That's... I actually didn't think we were going to win that one. Not bad.